people to be thinking about mitigating fire hazard when we've seen rain, hail, snow, wind in the last 24 hours, and even more is on the way. Here is an early look out at Pismo Beach during the sunset. Gorgeous there, thanks to our Surfline cameras. And you guys caught the sunset too. This is Terry's view out at Shell Beach. And then also some strong wind knocked down this tree and that was captured by Marie Kerr out in Orchid. You can always send your photos to with the hashtag BeyondKSBY, Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. And I'm sure you guys are gonna see a lot out there in the next couple of days here. We had some really strong wind gusts here. Take a look at Cat Canyon Road, about 54 mile per hour wind gusts recorded. We saw 46 mile per hours in the San Marcos Pass Road, Montecito Hills, 69 mile per hour wind gusts. These are really some big howlers here. Let's take a look at San Luis Obispo had 41 miles per hour. Diablo Canyon recorded 66, which is the strongest wind gust that that station has seen since 1976. And as you take a look now, so our winds have kind of tapered off just a little bit, but you can still see for much of the area, it's in that green region. So 20 to 30 miles per hour. We are looking to see these really ramp up Wednesday when this really big third system comes into the area and brings a lot of cold winter weather to the central coast. Here's a look at the advisory. Wind advisory is going to be expiring 6 a.m., but we could see extended with the third system on the way. Northwesterly winds 20 to 35 miles per hour with gusts up to 50. We could even see some gusts up to 60. It's definitely going to be something we're going to monitor. High surf advisory expiring tomorrow 10 p.m., 14 to 18 feet with max local sets up to 20 feet for across the central coast. Here's a look at the scattered rain showers we're seeing in the overnight hours, but really this is the main event. And with this large system, we could see the scattered showers in northern parts of San Luis Obispo County by 11 p.m. on Tuesday. Look at what this system does. It just wants to hang out and chill on the central coast. It really does linger here on Wednesday bringing really widespread rainfall from the north end of the central coast to the south end and then it'll move down to southern california bringing more rainfall to the los angeles area so how much rainfall are we expecting with this system well by wednesday night we could see anywhere from two to four feet but by thursday we could see an additional couple of inches here up to eight feet so that is going to be um, much needed to help us get out of this drought area and you can see with this weather pattern here this atmosphere atmospheric river that we've all been talking about here. It's not abnormal. You know, these atmospheric rivers, we get 30 to 50% of our seasonal rainfall with these. But what is abnormal about this is the intensity and how much rainfall it can bring. So we're talking about debris and flooding as well. 54 degrees tomorrow in Paso Robles, 56 in San Luis Obispo, 55 in Santa Maria, 56 in Lompoc, and 62 degrees in Santa Barbara. You're going to notice with your daytime highs even on the north coast and as we head down to the five cities that we're hovering in the mid to upper 50s. But take a look at the overnight lows. They are 29 degrees overnight in California Valley. So we are dipping below freezing in some areas. So bring your plants and your pets inside because it's going to be a chilly one out there on the central coast. Here's a look at the extended forecast here. We are going to see some clearing tomorrow, some dry conditions, but not for long because Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, that storm is here and it's going to pack a punch. I'll send it back to you.